Hey guys, and welcome to today's Coffee and Christ. I hope you're doing well today. Mm -hmm. Well, we have come to the end. We've what? I know, right? Uh, this is our very last Coffee and Christ. I should have brought a tissue. I know, right? Uh, it's a sad day. Uh, but I took a job out in Arizona, and so hopefully at the end of next month I'll be moving out there. So this is our very last Coffee and Christ. We wanted to kind of wrap everything up. So we asked ourselves, so what, what would we like to leave you with? there's one thought, one idea we could leave you with, if you don't remember anything else we've talked about or seen any of our other videos, what is it that we could leave you with? A skit with you and I doing song and dance? You know, I'm sure that would be great. I'm sure you all would enjoy that, uh, but I would like to hold on to my self-respect. <laughs> so instead, we thought we'd th talk in terms of remember who you are. If there's one thing that we hope that everyone always remembers, that we hope that we can leave you with, it's that you would remember who you are. And we are Christians. Amen. Which means, first and foremost, that we have been created in the image of God. All humanity has been created in the image of God, mm -hmm. which means we have inherent value, uh, it means we have inherent purpose, mm -hmm. and we should live as such, and we should treat other people as such. Mm -hmm. But we are also deeply loved. As Christians and as humanity, we are, we are deeply loved, but especially when we choose to follow Christ, because there's a special relationship that we're able to re-engage with, with God and with Christ that draws us closer to Him. And as a result, there's an extra level of love there. We live in a society that attempts to, I, to tell us, to dictate to us who we should be, what we should be, mm. uh, what we should look like, uh, all of those kinds of things. And at times, it's easy to lose sight of who we are. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm reminded of the Disney classic, The Lion King. Ooh. I know, such a, great, such a great movie, such a classic of all classics. Yes, yes, I know it's a ripoff of Shakespeare, but still, nonetheless, it was great, it was fantastic. And there's one particular uh, scene in there where Simba has wandered off with Timon and Pumbaa, and he's begun to lose sight of who he is. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mufasa, uh, in that weird cloud scene, uh, comes to him and says, Hey, remember who you remember are. Remember who you are. Uh, yes, exactly, just like that. Sounds eerily like Darth Vader. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? The same could be said of us. Mm -hmm. That we live in a society, we live in a day and time where there's a lot of noise. A lot of people trying to convince us as to who we should be. And it's easy to lose sight of the reality that we have been created in the image of God. The reality that we as Christians, should, first and foremost, should ask ourselves how a member of God's kingdom behaves in every aspect of their life. And so we would encourage you as you go throughout life to remember who you are. Remember how much you are loved. And remember that because you are a Christian, we are citizens of heaven first and foremost. Mm -hmm. And should always view all of our lives in asking the question, how will this affect my relationship with God? How will this uh, affect my ability to be his emissary? May the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and give you strength. 